In this tutorial, we are going to take an animation from Mixamo to Unreal Engine 5 in order to animate our character. First, you have to go to Mixamo.com. In here, you have to create a new account if you don't have one already. And once you've logged in, go to the Characters tab. In here, you have to select the character. It doesn't matter which one you select. I've just selected this one called Ninja. Then when you have selected the character, go to the Animations tab. Here, before you select the animation you wish to copy, you first have to use the T-Pose. So up here, search for T-Pose and then select this first one called T-Pose because we want a standard po pose for our character. Go ahead and click on download and then download again. While we are waiting, you can visit my website pixelhelmet.com if you're interested in similar tutorials or full game development courses in Unreal Engine. I've also released hours of free in-depth courses so you can take a look and see if something interests you. Let's now open up the Epic Games Launcher and let's launch Unreal Engine 5. You can use your own project if you've already a project. Maybe you want to apply this animation to a character you already have. But right now I don't have a project so I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to select this third person template. It doesn't matter. I'm going to call it Mixamo to UE5. Again, you can use your own project for this. In here in the engine, I'm going to click on the content drawer and then clicking on duck in layout. So I have this up all the time. And now I'm going to go to characters, mannequins, meshes. And here is my character called mannequin or Manny. And again, you can find your own character if you already have one that you want to apply the Mixamo animations to. Now, something very, very important is if you click on the skeleton of your own character, you can see this is the pose my character has right now. However, for Mixamo, this is the pose that my character has in Mixamo. And this will cause problems because this pose has to actually look the same as this pose, else it will cause problems. So we have to adjust this Mixamo pose here to our Unreal Engine mannequin pose. To do this, we need to use Blender. If you don't have Blender already, you can download it for free. I already have it, so I'm going to open it up. Once you have Blender open here, you can go ahead and just delete everything in your scene so it's fully empty. Go to File, Import, FBX, and then import the file we downloaded from Mixamo. So this one T-Pose, and I'm going to click on Import, and you can see this is my ninja character that I imported from Mixamo. In order to correctly pose it like this character, so we need a 100% similar posing to have 100% accurate results, we actually, uh, to do it easily, I can right click on this skeletal mesh. I can go to asset actions and go to export. So I can export my mesh and use it in Blender to pose my other character. So I'm going to click on downloads and just go ahead and save this many and just go ahead and export it. And level of detail, I'm going to tick it off with a collision as well, just like that. And I'm going to click on export. Now let's go back to Blender and I'm going to go to file, import, FBX and selecting this mannequin mesh that we just exported and clicking on import FBX. Now you can see the Unreal Engine mannequin is in here as well, so it's a lot easier for us to accurately pose this character to our mannequin. Now if you want 100% precise results, you have to do it very accurately, but I'm just going to do it a little bit quicker for this tutorial. Clicking on the skeleton on your Mixamo character, so for example here at the hand, you can select the skeleton, and then go to this tab here and select viewport display and select in front. So you can see the skeleton in the front and it's easier for you to work with. Then wh when you have the skeleton selected, go to the object mode up here, select pose mode. And then I want you to go down here and delete these two keyframes. So select these two keyframes, hit delete on your keyboard and you're ready to go. Now what you can do is select this bone and while you are in pose mode, go ahead and click on the rotation tool. And now you can uh, rotate it downwards so you can actually rotate it or just pose it similar to the mannequin here. So I'm going to hold control while I am rotating so it snaps. And you can see up here the degrees it's snapping with. So this was 60 degrees. I'm going to select the other arm and then rotating it, hold control while you are doing it. 60 degrees just like this. And now you can see it also bends forward a little bit. So I'm going to select on this one down here and let's try to rotate this one here, hold control again and something like this. So it's not 100% accurate, but it's the best that we can do. 
uh, with this time here that we have so here 45 degrees just like the other one and as for the legs we can do it a little bit better as well so i'm going to click on this one and also just ro rotate it five degrees this way five degrees this way okay so now it's a lot more accurate so what we can do here is we can exit the pose mode so i'm going back to the object mode I'm going to delete this mannequin here. So just delete the mannequin. So you only have your character left. So this is what we have right now. Go ahead in the object mode, select everything, go to file, export, and FPX. I'm going to the downloads folder and I'm just going to overwrite my old file. It doesn't matter. You can save it as a new file if you want to. Back here in the engine, I'm going to find my file and I'm going to import my newly posed Mixamo character. So import it here. Here in the import options, just make sure you don't have any skeleton selected. So clicking on this arrow here, or you can click up here and click on clear. That's the same thing. If you scroll down, I'm going to click on this one and click on do not create material and do not import any textures because I don't really care for this one. And we don't really have any animations right now. So everything's looking fine. I'm going to click on import all. Now you can see we are going to get some errors because we need to use the T0 as a reference pose. So let's do that. Let me close this down and let me delete those again. Go ahead and click on save all and right click on the content folder, fix up redirect us just so we don't get any errors. Go back to the mesh folder, go to your file again and import it. And again, just like before, make sure you don't have any skeletons selected and materials. We don't want that. We don't want animations right now. And here in the advanced settings, click on use T0 as reference pose. Click on import all now. And you can see it imports. Now, this small error, it doesn't mean anything. No smoothing groups. You can fix this in Blender when you export here, export your mesh. You can fix it by down here in the geometry, setting the smoothing to face instead of normal only. But it doesn't matter, it doesn't affect anything right now. Now, in order to use our animations in the future from Mixamo to Unreal Engine 5, we have to create rigs. So right click here, go to animation and create an IK rig. Select the Mixamo skeleton, so it's called T pose, and I'm going to call it IK Mixamo. Double click on this rig. And inside of here, you have to define the body of this new character. So here in the IK retargeting to the right, you have to create chains and define the body of the character. So I'm going to click on it a bit of time. So I have some of them here. So for the first one, I'm going to call it head. And the next one, arm left. And then arm right. And then we have the leg left. And leg right. And then we have the spine. So we have those chains. Now we have to define the start bone and the end bone of this body part. So now for the head, you can click down here and you can see it starts at neck. So you have to select neck over here. So searching for neck up here, selecting it, and it ends up here. And if you click on it, it says head here in the bones. So clicking on the end bone, searching for head and selecting it here. So for the next one, for example, the arm left is this one. So it starts up here. If you click on it, you can see it's called left shoulder. So clicking over here and searching for shoulder, we have this one left shoulder. If you click down here, if I hit it correctly, so over here, it's it ends at the hand. So you can see it's called left hand. So it ends at left hand. Okay, so you have to do it for uh, all of them here. So for the right arm, it's called probably right shoulder, but you can also click on it here and see it's called right shoulder. And it's the same as the left hand, so it's called right hand over here. For the legs, you can click on the leg up here. It's called right up leg. And this one is the left one, so we have to remember this is the left up leg, not the right one. And for the right one, this is the right up leg, okay? Just, may, uh, just be careful what you're doing here. Just make sure you're selecting them correctly. So the left for the left, right for the right. And as for the leg, it ends down here. So if you click down here, it's the right foot. So this is the right one here, right foot. And for the left foot, it's called left foot. The last one here is the spine. So if you click down here, you can see this is not the spine. This is the center of the character. So if you click one more up, it's called spine. 
So we can search for spine and select it. And the last one is called spine three. So you can see spine or spine two, spine, spine one, spine two. So this is the end. So selecting spine two over here. The next thing we want to do is click on hips. So this is the center of the character. This is the root. We can right click it and then uh, select new retarget chain from selected bones and call this one root. Click OK. And you can see it's going to create this one as well. Now, very, very important, we also have to select the root of the character, so the center of the character, and then select a set retarget root. And click save. Let's close it. We have to do the same for our own character. So do it for your own custom character, or if you're following along, we have to do it for this mannequin here. Let's right click, go to animation, and select IK rig. Now we have to select our own character, and I'm going to select this one SKM many. We can call it IK many. And again, let's go inside of here and let's define it just like the Mixamo character. Go ahead here to the side and add new chains. And just like before, call them head, arm left, arm right. Uh, very, very important. You have to call them exactly the same as what you called them over here in the chain name. So the chain names need to be the same. So over here, arm left, arm right, leg left, leg right, and spine as the last one. So just like before, I'm going to uh, go ahead and skip and do it. But just like uh, before, go ahead and click on one of them. And you can see it's called neck. So you have to select the neck over here if I search for it correctly. And then it ends down here at the head. So you have to select the head as the last one. So just do it just like before. Okay, so now I'm finished. You can see what I've assigned as the start bone and end bone for everything. And just like before, for example, the leg right, I just selected the start of it here and it's thigh right. So I assigned thigh right. And I went down here, clicked on the foot and I can see it's called foot right. So I assigned foot right. So just the same method as before. Let's close it down now. Now let's right click down here, go to animation and select IK Retargeter. Now you have to select which rig you want to copy animations from. So you can see here, pick IK rig to copy animations from. We want to copy from the Mixamo character. So selecting this one here, I'm going to call it IKR Mixamo. Going to enter it here, you can see this is the Mixamo character. And now we have to select which rig we want to copy to. And the, the one I made is called IK Many, uh, the one you made for your own character. Select it here and you can see the characters appearing here. Now we don't have any animations, so we can't test it right now. So let's get back to the Mixamo page. And now let's select any animation you wish to choose. I found this one called Chicken Dance. I think it's funny. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to click on download and then download again. By the way, if you're interested in knowing how to create an animation blueprint for your character or any other subject that you want me to make a video about, please let me know down below in the comments. Let's now go back to Unreal Engine and let's take our file here. So this is the chicken dance and let's take it down here, import it to the engine. And in the importer, you have to select your typos here. This is the Mixamo skeleton. So you have to select this one. And we don't want to import the mesh because we already imported the mesh before. And everything's looking good. Go ahead and click on import all. And this error here doesn't mean anything. So we're going to close it down. Just make sure it's working. Just double click on it. See if it works. Okay, so everything's working. Let's go back to the IK retargeter. And in here, you can now see it appeared. So if you double click on it, you can see it is working. However, this guy's sliding. And this is because we forgot to set the retargeting root. So let's go back here in the IK menu. Go to pelvis. This is the middle again. Right click here set retarget root, and now it should work. So let's close it down, click on file, save everything. Let's go back to the IK retargeter and let's double click on the chicken dance. You can see now it's working perfectly. However, a small pr problem uh, you maybe would notice is the fingers are actually not moving. The fingers are not moving. You can see the fingers for this guy is moving. However, the fingers for this guy is not moving. So we have to do the same thing again. We have to define the fingers. So let's close this down. Let's go back to Mixamo and just click here and add a couple of chains. We have to do the same thing here. So clicking on the first one, you can see it's called thumb. So this one I'm going to call thumb left and thumb right. 
Clicking on the next one, it's called index. So this is the index finger, index left and index right. And then just do it for all of the rest of the fingers. Okay, so you can see I've assigned all of them now. So the last one was the pinky, right pinky to the right pinky four. Let's save everything. Just make sure you have done it correctly. Just take a look again at all of them. You can make a mistake very quickly. So just check, double check here. I close it down. Now let's do it for the many. I know it's a daunting work. It takes a long time, but we have to do it so we can use the animations correctly. Again, you have to do the same thing for this mannequin. So again, create them just like before. Okay, I've now assigned all of them and you can see them here. And again, double check uh, your version of it if everything is correct. And when you're satisfied, let's go ahead and save everything. Let's go back to the IK retargeter and click on the chain mapping and click on auto map chains just so it refreshes and everything is correct. Let's go back to the asset browser, double click on this chicken dance just to see if it works. And you can now see his fingers are actually moving. So you can see his fingers are moving. Everything is working correctly as supposed to. So now we're ready to copy this animation. I'm satisfied. So let us click on this animation. Click on export selected animations and select any folder. I'm just going to copy it to the content folder here. Click OK. And now you can see we have copied the animation. So if I double click on it, you can see it is now applied to our character. Please hit the like button if this video helped you and subscribe if you're interested in similar Unreal Engine tutorials so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thank you so much for being here. I wish you the best of luck with your game project and I'll see you soon.